This is a Madagascan sunset moth, one of the most colorful moths or butterflies in my entire collection. And there are some interesting things about this one specifically that make it very different from other moths and butterflies out there. Let's take a closer look. First, check out those hind wings. We're gonna see the color really closely. Man, look at this. It's marked by these kind of reddish, orangish spots that transition into some kind of nice little yellows, greens, and blues. And the front is predominantly black with these fluorescent green stripes. Absolutely outrageous, but watch this. Watch what happens if I take my hand and slide it under the edge real quick. It has that white edge that if you look very closely is kind of fringed. There are fringed scales that line the edge of this entire moth. It's a little thinner in the front and they're thicker in the back. Uh, another characteristic of this guy are these six tails. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is pretty neat. But the predominant feature, which is definitely unusual compared to other moths or butterflies, is the, the relative lack of symmetry here. To illustrate what I'm talking about, I'm gonna bring in another specimen. Here's a butterfly that you guys might be familiar with. This, of course, is a tiger swallowtail, pretty common in the United States. Flip back to the overhead, scoot it to the side, and compare the left and right sides. Man, there's pretty much no differences, even if you get to the very close specifics. I mean, look at this tiny little pocket right there. You see that pocket of yellow? That pocket is mimicked right there on the left side. That's like a quarter of a millimeter sliver of yellow, both sides. But if we go to the Madagascan sunset moth, it's totally different. We don't really have that same sense of symmetry. I mean, just look right here. We have this nice block of black, much smaller on this side over here. Let's see what we got. There's a two black spots in that rosy part. The spots are kind of totally different shape, almost on a different part of that hind wing too. It's not the same, left and right. But here's the cool thing. You haven't even seen the most interesting part of this butterfly because it's what lies underneath. Here's what we would expect very colorful butterflies to look like on the underside. To kind of give an example of what we might expect this to look like, I'm going to bring out this guy. Blue Morpho, it's too big. It's too big to even fit on camera, so I'm going to flip it over and show it from the wide. This is a Blue Morpho, and it kind of shows, demonstrates kind of commonly what these very, very colorful butterflies might look like. So metallic blue, very shiny. If I flip it around, you'll see that the backside is almost entirely brown. And this makes sense if you think about it because that blue is very shiny. A predator, an insectivore, could see it from a long distance away. So when that butterfly is at rest, closes up its wings, entirely hides that blue. So you just see that brown camouflages itself against the bark of a tree, the forest floor, something like that. So you would expect the Madagascan sunset moth to be, to be relatively similar, but it's not at all. If anything, the underside is even more colorful than the top. I'm going to grab it, pick it up, delicately flip it over, and try to put it back inside this foam. It's a little bit of a tricky maneuver, so I'm going to squeeze it in carefully without stabbing myself. Oh, guys, bear with me real quick. <gasps> okay, I got it. Doing a little adjustment, flipping it over. Back under camera, look at that. Oh man, <laughs> absolutely outrageous. The underside is totally different than the top. The front, instead of predominantly black with green stripes, got black with these light blue. It's almost like the underside, the, the back of it kind of just exploded on the underside. The, the, the rosy patch has just bled right into the front. It's mostly orange with only a few spots of black absolutely incredible but there it is madagascan sunset moth probably the most colorful definitely the most colorful butterfly or moth of my entire collection there you go